my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading in the month of July. I love my ebook hauls, they're really fun and <laughs> I always forget that I download these until my ebook hauls I'm like, oh yeah, I got that, that sounds so good, I need to pick it up. <laughs> so like once I click download on my computer or my phone or whatever the case may be, like the book just leaves my brain. <laughs> Like if it's not in front of me, I don't remember it. So I love these ebook calls because it helps me remember like, oh yeah, that is sitting in your library. Pick it up. There's a reason why you got it. So I'm excited to talk about these books. As always, we're going to talk about the books that I downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited. And then we'll go into the books that I ended up downloading for free in the month. So first, Kindle Unlimited. I saw Tiffany Roberts post like a fan art they commissioned, like an art piece they commissioned about uh, yearning for her, which is one of their books. And I was like, ah, <laughs> I need that <laughs> right now. And then also, they also posted a clip on top of the picture, a clip of the audiobook narrator guy speaking. And I became a puddle. So I, I needed this book. Um, I didn't have a credit at the time, so I just got it off of KU. So um, if I have a credit later on, I might listen to that ebook because that man's voice is fine. If you want to know what he sounds like, go to their Instagram. I think it's in like one of their reels or whatever. But the scene that they got illustrated really reminds me of a certain scene, the cabin, the inn, no, sorry, the inn in Akamath. You know, like the inn scene. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. So that's what that picture reminded me of. I'm like, I need this. I need this now. And I think this is the romance with a plus size heroine and a monster hero who is a succubus. <laughs> Apparently they have like one night together that they agree to have, um, but the hero wants more afterward. This guy has been alive, I think for like 400 years and he's been feeding off of humans in this way for years, but there's something about this woman. He doesn't want anybody but her. No one else can state his hunger except for her. This sounds so good, definitely up my alley. It's just a little bit long, longer than I would like when it comes to an ebook. So I might wanna wait for a credit so I can listen to that fantastic voice, okay? I got Servant to the Spy Day by Ruby Dixon off of Kindle Unlimited. I do have a physical copy, but I just find myself, I read better on my phone, you know what I mean? Or on my laptop, on my Kindle app. So I downloaded the ebook. This is her latest fantasy romance book. And I believe it's M-M-M-F. We met these characters in the previous books in this fantasy romance series. And it's more of the like novella length. It's close to 200 pages. Um, and that's all I really know. We've met these characters again, like I said, in the previous books in the series, so I kind of know what it's gonna be about, but I also don't really know what it's gonna be about. I don't know. I'm gonna go into this book as wide as possible because I, I trust Miss Ruby. Then I downloaded Falling for the Manny by uh, Kayla Nicole. This is a Manny romance. I read this book in July. You can go watch my July wrap up if you wanna know my thoughts on this, but this was a Manny romance that I read last month. Next is Queen of Madness by Lee Jaquo. I think that's how you say the last name. I am so sorry. Um, but I found out that this is a duet by this author and I, I, I wanted to pick it up. I just did. Um, I've read, I think, Cupid's Peak only by this author and I want to read more. I have the four leaf on my on my TBR this month so I definitely want to read that but this one really caught my eye. The greatest weakness any man can have is a woman. The inherent need to protect them can become overwhelming and all-consuming. It makes us think irrationally and do stupid things. In my case, fall down a rabbit hole. My sister made a mistake, one that put us in debt with the Italian mob who owns half the state. And as payment, they've enlisted me to work for them. Only it isn't them I'll be working for, it's for her, Onyx Ambrose. She's a ghost, a legend, and the head of their rivaling mafia family, and the queen of Wonderland. This is an Alice in Wonderland retelling in mafia. Sign me up, okay. Um, see, I forget what these books are about until these videos. Okay, um, in order to save my family, I have to act as her guard. Oh, so it's bodyguard too? Sold, okay. I have to act as her guard so they can find a way to kill her. But the longer I stay, the more I realize Onyx isn't who I thought she was and neither am I. It turns out I'm just as mad. I'm sold, I need to pick that up. Like. Now, then I have Dangerous Temptation by Jenna Darling. I think I saw this book in like a disability rep list and I was like, I love Jenna Darling. So let's just pick this one up. I don't know what the representation is 
exactly, um, but I've seen it on many lists with disability or chronic illness representation. So I'll go in blind um, when, with that part of the book and figure out as I go what the representation is. He arrives all dressed in black, a watch on his tanned wrist that costs more than we could ever see in a lifetime of work. He carries a single red rose. It turns out he is my new guardian. I should have known from the very start that he had more in common with the thorns than the rose. Now I know the truth. I'm a pawn in his dangerous game of revenge. I was too young and naive, and now it's too late to save myself from his clutches. Now I belong to him. Okay, guardian ward romance. I've been a sucker for those for a while, okay? The last book that I have to mention that's a KU borrow is uh, The Hunter by Jenica Snow. I read The Beast like months ago with Brie and I really wanted to continue on with the series. Um, I just want to read more Jenica Snow. It seems like her monster romances are very much my vibe and this is a Little Red Riding Hood retelling I'm pretty sure but she gets with like the wolf. So sounds fun. I had a lot of fun with The Beast so I assume I'm gonna have fun with the hunter as well. Okay, time for the free books. Let's get out my laptop. Um, first I have The Hawk Soul by Amy Samita. Samita? I have no clue. Um, this is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited. This is about Raven, who is a human soldier in the Fey Army of Shapeshifters, run by a warlord. I'm a simple man. I like the three Fs. Feasting, fighting, and you know the other one. <laughs> I don't have many expectations for my life beyond those things, and that's fine by me. But when two fey amulets are stolen and only a human can retrieve them, my warlord asked me to help. He is the Hawk Lord, honorable, brave, terrifyingly powerful, and hot enough to set my pants on fire with a single look. That look was all it took for me to agree to one of the most dangerous missions of my life. What I didn't know was that he'd be accompanying me, watching my back as we crept through the continent continent of Allen Tree, nor did I know that our mission would bring us together in the most unexpected ways. Why does this kind of sound like The Hobbit? <laughs> I need to stop. Okay. Um, the Hawk Lord is so much more than I thought. Stronger and more heroic, with a soul more beautiful than his face, but he also has a darkness inside of him, one that could bind us together forever or tear us viciously apart. To survive his love, I'll need the heart and soul of a hawk. I definitely want to read more fantasy romances. So I ended up finding A Ruthless Enemy by McKenna Miller. This is not on Kindle Unlimited, unfortunately. And I believe it's $3.99 to purchase if you would like it. When Lorelai promised to be mine, I never would have believed that things would end in her betrayal and me spending time in prison for something I didn't do. Is it a revenge romance? Yes. Okay, now I'm out and determined to exact revenge against the woman I once loved, only to find out she's been keeping a secret from me. A daughter I never knew I had. Secret baby. The secret baby. A daughter who belonged to me and would now be raised as a Capitani? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, whether her mother is in the picture or not. Lorelai is still feisty, stubborn, and rebellious. And after so long without a woman, I greet her with an angry, hate-filled kiss. But once I feel her lush curves beneath me, all I want is to claim her again. I tell myself the craving is temporary, that once I have my fill, of her, I'll sever our ties and keep my daughter with me. But I've underestimated just how much of this hold this woman has over me. The plan should have been simple until my daughter is kidnapped and held hostage. My life for hers. Nobody messes with what's mine. This means war and I will destroy everyone who dares threaten my family. Yes, secret baby. I need it, I need it now. Then I have Savage Prize by Hattie Jacks. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited and is the first book in The Warriors of the Citadel in the romance series. Okay, so the heroine is from Earth and she says, I am not ever getting back to Earth, but I'd settle for escape from the cage that I'm being kept in. But instead I end up as a prize in an alien game where a golden eyed horned alien lord is the winner. The Remek Lords are notoriously known for their brutality, vicious, dangerous, and feral. I'm about to get up close and extremely personal with one of the most ferocious species in the galaxy. Only Tabor is not what I was expecting at all. Aloof, passionate, dominant, he knows exactly what he wants. His faded mate, me. I'm a sucker for alien romances with faded mates. I, I want it. Next is Alien Tyrant by Ursa Dax. I want to read more Ursa Dax. I read her monster romance that's uh, like holiday themed. Um, So I definitely want to pick this series that I've heard great things and then I'm also now on her ARC team for like her new series, which I'm very excited about, but I need to go back and read 
like this series also. So this was free, I think for one day. So I picked it up, but it is on Kindle Unlimited if you would like it. This one is about Cece and Bora. Oh, I do not know how to say that name. Bear with me. Bro Brody? Maybe it's pronounced Brody? I don't know, correct me please. So CC says, I thought getting a linguistics degree would land me a decent job and not get me shipped off to an alien planet ruled by barbarian warlords with tails. Just mention barbarians and I'm sold. Yes, okay. But that's exactly what happens when my own government kidnaps me along with a bunch of other women and drops us on a brutal desert planet in the name of research. But the mission goes wrong. Soon enough, I'm separated from the other humans and stuck with a seven foot tall alien warlord who will not leave my side. He doesn't speak English. His dark eyes and massive body speak volumes. I need him to survive and find my friends. But am I willing to give him what he wants when he wants it? Is me. In the hero's point of view, he says, when I saw the face of my future faded mate in the sacred pools, she was unlike anything I'd ever seen. I thought that fate was wrong or that maybe I'd gone mad, but when she finally falls from the sky, crashing into my desert, my fate becomes my reality. She is small and pale and frights me every chance she gets, but everything in me calls to everything in her and she represents the salvation of my tribe. She is mine and will destroy anyone who tries to take her from me. But what if the one who tries to take her from me is her? It gives me IPV vibes for sure. I need to pick that one up ASAP. Next, I downloaded Come As You Are by Jess K. Hardy. This is not on KU, but you could purchase it for $5.99. Apparently this is a Gen X romance. That's what it's marketed as. You have a 46 year old and a 53 year old. Um, this is a romance between Ashley and Matthew. Ashley hires the men from a local sober living home for the seasons to cut costs at her struggling ski hill. With her credit cards maxed, her cheating ex-husband intent on buying the mountain out from under her and record baking snow in the forecast, she can't afford to be distracted by the six foot tall bearded and tattooed sober living home owner moving into her mountain. Matthew is a recovering addict and ex grunge rocker who has devoted every minute of the last decade to men residing in his sober living home. When he meets tightly wound and adorably flustered Ashley, desires he's put on the back burner for years start to simmer, immune to his infamous, albeit rusty charm, Ashley presents a challenge he can't resist. When she offers to give him skiing lessons in exchange for his help training her St. Bernard rescue dog, he jumps the chance to ride next to her on the chairlift despite his debilitating fear of heights. During Bunny Hill shenanigans, chairlift confessions, and a Stevie Knight cabin serenades, Matthew teaches Ashley that a person's past doesn't define them, and Ashley shows Matthew that the men he helps aren't the only people who deserve a second chance. When sabotage threatens both of them and the mountain, Ashley and Matthew will have to decide if they're only having a winter fling or if the mountain isn't the only thing worth fighting for. Sounds super fun. Last book that I have is Legally Charming by Lauren Smith. This is still available to download for free. This Prince Charming has no time for love. Hotshot lawyer Jared Redmond is a workaholic whose romantic life is a string of quick flings. After a long business trip, he returns home to find his younger brother has thrown a Halloween party in their apartment. And there is a big problem. There's a woman wearing a princess gown in his bed, a real sleeping beauty. His undeniable attraction to this mysterious stranger sets him on a path toward the one thing he never planned on, falling in love. But his fair princess has no time for love either. And when their careers put them on separate paths, Jared has to fight to win back the woman who stole his heart or he will lose her forever. Anyways, thank how much those are all the books that I ended up downloading in July. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, I'd love to know your opinions on any of these if you've read them. But if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a baby emoji in the comment section down below because we had a secret baby romance on this list that I'm very excited. Anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.